You mentioned on one of the programs we've done so far that verse in, in Proverbs where it says, train up a child in the way he, he should, should be, go. go. Yeah. You know, you know, he will not depart from it. That's right. In life. Now, you have a way of helping us understand our kids. They're all different. We talked about this again on the program. You motivate one one way, you motivate right. another the other way. That's and this right. one. So let's talk about the differences okay. and what you do about them. Okay. Well, first of all, I've been teaching this particular thing about understanding personality gems. I believe that people are very similar to gems. First of all, each gem when it's first found, for example, a ruby, you and I would not be able to see a real ruby with our own naked eye. It just looks like there's a speck of red inside of some ugly rock. Well, it takes a trained eye to be able to see that, oh, this is actually value here. When it comes, it's ugly, and it takes the refiner... God, to chisel away at that particular gem, cuts it, refines it. Then if it decides to be put into, let's say, you know, a into gold, a or ring or sure, a piece sure, of jewelry, sure. then it gets under heat, more refinement before the value and the beauty and the shine, the luster comes out only through refinement. Well, people are the same exact way. So it takes a trained eye to see, to see the it. gem. Right. And it takes that trained hand to cut, mm. to refine, to then put under heat, to refine all the dross even out of metal or to refine the nastiness out of that particular item to pull forth the luster and the value. And so we teach in Grooming the Next Generation for Success on how you can groom your kids to succeed instead of by default leading them into failure by understanding what their personalities are and motivating them. Okay. This came out of the business community. I taught this in business so, be, and that's where it came from. Okay. Be, the, the idea in, in business is that if you, help, if you want to help someone succeed, they need to know who they are. Is that it? It's both. You need to know who they are. They need to they know need, who they are. Uh, they, they you they both need, to, need know. to know who they uh. are and what their natural bend is. Here's an example. You certainly don't put um, what we call a sapphire, someone who's motivated by fun, in an accounting position. It is not their natural bend. And it won't work. No, they will fail. They will be miserable and they will sure. fail. And they will fail those who are depending on them. And so that person who's motivated by people and fun and chaos and spontaneity should not be in an accounting position because that is absolutely not their right, natural right. tendencies. And, you know, typically you wouldn't, you wouldn't be looking for that kind of a person for that task. No. However, okay. parents that are what I call an emerald... The okay. accountants. Okay, so okay. Do you want to give me just a, what are sure. the different gems? Just give me an overview. Sapphire, ruby, emerald, pearl. Okay. Okay. So each one of these have a different personality. The, right, okay? okay. They speak different. They dress different. They talk different. They have a totally different terminology. This is in our kids as well as in our coworkers out in the marketplace as well as the people we're married to. Which also causes some <laughs> conflicts. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And, but keep going. That's good. I, I like it because it, it just says there's a difference. There is a big difference. And again, they all speak a different terminology. And they have a different definition for certain words. For example, a party to a sapphire um, means a bit different than a party to a pearl. A pearl is more low-key, more quiet, more shy, and is the person that's all about service and shower of mercy. The sapphire is about loud and spontaneity and everything is just wild and bright colored. So a party to a sapphire means party. <laughs> but a party to a pearl means what? We're going to have a nice little potluck. Okay. Using oh, the same word, okay. they both have completely different but meanings. But one sees one thing, yes. the other sees something altogether yes. different. Yes, yes, absolutely. And, and would relate differently. Totally. <laughs> Meaning, you tell a sapphire party, and you invite them to a boring potluck in their minds, you this was it. not a party. <laughs> Do you understand? And vice versa. Vice versa. So you invite the pearl, pearl to a party. party, it's wild, it's loud, it's crazy. They're like, in a corner, leaving early. Okay, good. Oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so when it comes to children, and, and again, this goes for who you're married to, this goes for who you're working with, this helps you to become that person that is someone very special to another person okay. because you can speak and tap into what motivates okay. the and, other and person. And it's important for me to know who I am, first of all. Start, yes. Does it start with me before I get to know the other person? I, I think that it helps. Well, we again, we teach this in a business seminar. Okay. 
So we teach it to our clients so that they can, first of all, understand what their natural bend is. What are they motivated by? What matters most to them? What kind of careers should they not head towards that are just don't fit their, their strengths, you right, know? Right, right. And unfortunately, what we see is parents, let's say that there's an emerald father. All right, and Emerald again, organized. Everything's facts and figures, always on time. It's the only personality that God made organized and on time. There's only one, only are one. Are you serious? The other three the, the, are not. So, so, so if you're one of those, you can't understand anyone no. who isn't on time exactly. and organized. And the Emeralds are typically, and again, I've trained this all over the world to tens of thousands of people worldwide. This is revolutionary communication skills. Okay, okay, okay. Emeralds are typically considered cold-hearted and insensitive because of the way they communicate, the way that they speak. And so, and the number one question that they always ask is a three-letter word, why? Why? <laughs> why are you late? Why can't you do this? Why don't you understand? What part of the email did you not get? This is the way they communicate, so it's very interrogative. So when you have an uh -huh. emerald oh, oh. father or mother or teacher communicating with a sapphire or wife, child or, wife. or a wife, <laughs> right? Okay, okay. So you have this person that's disorganized, always late. They have their watches set 10 minutes to 30 minutes in advance, and they're still always late. And that's even, even they have a watch, because usually they, they don't, don't have a watch. A watch. They don't and if one. they do, it's just an accessory. It might not even work. Okay. They okay, look at okay, it. Okay. Okay. So, so is a sapphire the absolute opposite almost of? Uh huh. <laughs> Complete okay. opposite. From, of an emerald. Yes. Okay. So when, when a parent doesn't know what their own gem is, they will try to create their kid to be like them. Not knowing what they are, but just, but, but this is the way you are. This, this is, is the way, if an emerald is an emerald, they think kids should be like them. Actually, this is people in general. People think that everyone needs to be like them. So they communicate to their child in a very condescending, critical, condemning fashion. Wow. Then that gives this sapphire two choices, depending on what their secondary gem is. One is rebellion if their secondary is a ruby, or the other is shuts down. They absolutely shut down. They have a very low self-confidence, very low self-worth, and therefore uh, they're afraid to speak. They're afraid to act out. They're afraid to do anything. They're told their entire lives to sh sit down, shut right. up. Sit down, shut up. Why can't you sit still? How many times do I have to tell you? This shuts a kid down, kills their spirit. This is not how you're supposed to train up a child in the way he should go. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I mean, this is it's very important. But now that's that's if the person is a an emerald. That is yep. this, the well, I guess a dominant person, a strong person, a mm -hmm. organized, mm -hmm. on time person. Yes. And they think everybody else should be as they, well. They work for the railroad. No, I said back in the old days, the railroad's always on time. This is what I'm saying. Is that yeah. But, uh, okay. So um, in this particular scenario, when you understand, first of all, who you are, and you understand that this is your bend in the way you were wired, but let's say it's not the way your son or your daughter right. or your student was now, wired. Now, did you, do, you, do you deal differently with, like, say I was an emerald? Yes. I don't think I am. But I would commu communicate completely different to you as an emerald than I would communicate to a sapphire. Completely different. You have different motivations altogether. Okay, so, so, and if I've got children, could, could my children come from three or four different, I mean, if I've got three kids, they, they could all, all three be, be different. different. I have five. I have all four gems in my home. Incredible. <laughs> now, you talked about dominant gems, and you yes. talked about secondary. secondary. Mm -hmm. And the same way that the same four. Yes. Yes, there's some unnatural crossovers, like a sapphire wouldn't have a secondary emerald because it's polar opposites. So in this scenario, go ahead, go ahead. okay, yep. so here's the emerald parent or teacher, okay, right. who has a tendency to ask why, why, why and be interrogative in their tone. Right, exactly. Okay, so that scares off a sapphire and they don't trust the emeralds at all. Even though emeralds are full of integrity, they're not trustworthy because of communication problems. And in so, reality, they are, but in reality, they are but full you of integrity. Do, but, but you don't, you don't, you don't. If you're a, if you're a sapphire, you don't see that. No, all you see is that you're not safe. All a sapphire sees of an emerald is they're not safe. And why? Because they're interrogating all the time, asking the wonderful question of why. Why did you do this? That's very why helpful. can't that's, you do that's this very right? Very helpful. Yes. 